Hey everyone, it's Intel here, and you might have seen videos like this on YouTube recently. So this right here is what I like to call combo locking. It's the ability to hold someone in a combo for pretty much indefinitely. This might look like something that's really difficult, but I promise you that by the end of this video, you'll be able to combo lock too. I just wanted to say really quickly that if this video helped you, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and possibly considered subscribing. And if you really like my content, make sure to check out my Lunar Client cosmetics down in the description. Buying my Lunar Client cloak will make you insanely good at PvP. You'll become smarter, faster, stronger, live longer. Uh, no scam, by the way. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, so as I explained earlier, combo locking is the ability to hold someone in a combo for pretty much indefinitely. Now to hold a combo, you need to start a combo first, and this is not a video on how to start combos. I've actually already made a video of how to do that, so I'd recommend watching that first if you haven't already. I'll put it in the description. I'm also going to be referencing terms like sprint resetting, s-tapping, block hitting, w-tapping. Make sure you understand what all of those terms mean. If you don't, I've explained it in my how to combo video. Highly recommend you watch that video first before watching this one. But anyways, before I get into the tutorial, Tutorial, there are a few requirements that must be met if you want to start combo locking people. The first condition is that your opponent doesn't run out of the combo. If they do that, it'll ruin the combo. The second condition is that the server has consistent knockback. Combo locking is really hard to do on servers like Hypixel because the knockback on that server is really inconsistent. Oftentimes you'll get someone in a combo on Hypixel, but then you deal too much knockback to them. And because of that, most of the time you can only get combos that last like three to four hits. And then the third condition is that you and the server that you're playing on is not lagging. If you or the server is lagging, then there's a good chance that that's going to ruin the combo. Okay, so combo locking is 100% timing. You can see that while I'm combo locking someone, every time I hit them, I'm sprint resetting and I'm distancing myself from the player so that I don't enter their zone of reach. Combo locking in a way is actually really similar to speed bridging. It's literally just the timing. You're just doing the same motion over and over again and you're consistent with it so that you don't fall off. And if you figure out the timing, then with all the conditions I explained earlier, you can hold combos for indefinitely. So if you want to practice combo locking, I found that this way is the most effective way to practice, and that is to go on the server pvp.land. The IP I'll leave down in the description, but once you're on the server, you want to go to the practice NPC. And before you do anything, if you're on Lunar or Badline Client, you want to go into your mod settings, look for reach display, and enable it. Next, you want to right-click the sword that says fight a bot and you want to select easy. Note that when you're fighting the easy bot, it's only going to have one block of reach, and that's not going to matter, and I'm going to explain why in a bit. Select easy, and then you want to select the kit Gapple. You want to choose Gapple because you can hold combos the longest in that kit. Okay, so because you're fighting the easy bot, it's going to be really, really easy to get it into a combo because it only has one block of reach. Okay, so there's a lot of ways to combo someone, but I think a good way to start practicing is just by S-tapping. So what you want to do is get the bot into a combo and tap S every time that you hit it. You can look at my keystrokes for reference. Now, it's going to be really easy to hold in a combo because it only has one block of reach, but that's why you want to make sure that with your reach display mod, it's always displaying around 2.5 to 3 blocks of reach for each hit. That's about the same amount of distance that you would need to combo lock a normal player. I find it really effective to practice with the easy bot because you don't have to worry about getting the bot into a combo, you just have to worry about holding it in a combo for as long as you can. I think this is one of the most effective ways to practice your timing because once again, the bot only has one block of reach, so it's going to be really easy to combo, and the bot doesn't turn out of combos either, so you can hold it in a combo for as long as you want. So once you've mastered your timings with the bot, you can now go on to practicing with normal players. In these clips, I'm fighting my friend Tryhard. He's an insane player, by the way. He let me get him in a combo so I could get clips to show off as examples, so huge shout out to him. He also uploads combo locking montages on his channel, so make sure to check him out. You can see with my keystrokes that I'm S-tapping with pretty much the same timings that I used against the bot earlier. Now, S-tapping is only one way to to combo lock. I showed it off first because for me personally, it's the easiest way to do it. However, there's a ton of other ways to combo lock. You can block hit while combo locking, and note that while I'm block hitting, I'm strafing from left to right after each hit, and this actually helps to slow down your movement. You can combo lock by W tapping. And if you thought CPS matters, you can combo lock with two CPS. Oh, 
gotta go. What are oh, oh, oh my god. There's a ton of ways to do it, but the same general principle applies to every single way that you combo lock. Whenever you hit your enemy, you're sprint resetting, and you're also slowing down your movement so that you don't enter their range of reach. It's literally all about timing. Whatever way you want to practice, I'd recommend practicing the timings on PvP land with the easy bots. Personally, I think it's a really easy way to get the timings down, but it's not necessary. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you guys with this video. Thank you guys so much if you watched it and stuck around to the end. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to see more of me, you should follow my Twitch. I livestream Bed Wars pretty much every week. Thank you guys once again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.